Hello, welcome everyone. My name is Andrea Ordonez. Today I would like to show you some basic steps on how to create a new course using iTunes U. One thing to keep in mind is that iTunes U requires you to have a Mac to be able to have free access to iTunes U. So today I will be using a MacBook Pro. I have already installed iTunes U in my computer and if I look it up it will appear like this. Then you're going to need your Apple ID and your password. So I have already signed up and this is the main page. So the first thing you want to do is to, to create your course. Click right there and then you start um, entering the information about your course. You give it a name and a short name and it will just ask you about um, information and then in level let's say it's a high school and language uh, Spanish uh -huh. and then a category let's just do it in history so category is South American history and down here in this box you you type in a description so let's say this is a beginners course and then you can also add links if you need to down here you need to determine uh, the course type uh, self-paced or in session I will say self-paced and you have to specify the weeks the duration of the, of the course and also enable course discussions down here and the last one is licensing and then I'll just go ahead and click on that one once you're done you can add an image as well you can drag it in here or choose it from your computer computer but just make sure that you follow this right here because if the picture doesn't mm, doesn't qualify it will not allow you to upload it so I will just choose it from my computer and I will use the, the same one that I use for my previous course I click done right here and save all the changes so once you have all this information typed in um, uh, it will take a, a little while and uh, to create the shell for your new course so once it's done it will come up right here so you want to click on it the first thing you do is you update your information you upload your photo right here and if for the editing you click over here and also for your bio this is the button that you want to click and, and, and type in all your information the second thing you want to do is to create an outline and this is how you will organize your content. So I will just divide it into modules, say module one, module, okay. And then once you're done, you save the outline. Okay, so down here are the elements that you want to get familiar with. You have the info and then you have the posts and there is where you want to start entering all the content that you want to appear in your course so for that I'm gonna go back into the home page I'm just gonna show you what I've done with the previous course I've created so I already show you this um, the tabs for info and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do posts if you want to create a new post you have to click up here okay and then you just follow all the directions right here it is pretty simple I'm just gonna show you what I did with the first module so you you type in the topic the title and down here in this box you are a you can upload images you know and and have um, instructions and text and embedded uh, videos and links and even snapshots anything you need for your course to to look sleek and nice now down here is how you add assignments you click right there you type in the title the description you enable grading and to attach materials it'll bring up this, uh, these uh, different tabs you can upload it from your computer or search store or iTunes or web links or from your materials down here in 
your account with iTunes U. Let's just go back. I'm just going to cancel right here. I'm going to show you how materials look. So here we have all the options. Audio, video, books, documents, apps, images, web links, and this is how much storage you have available. So it's pretty nice if you want to add more. It, it brings you up the same options and this is how you have all your archive ready to go. If you click down here on admin, um, it will take you up to enrollment first and this will give you a, a detailed description on how you can share your course. It gives you a, an enrollment code that you can share with your students, new requests from students that want to take your course, the enrolled students you have and also it will show you their grades and also the course settings if you want to upgrade that uh, instructors people that you want them uh, that you want to collaborate with or TAs or so forth and licensing at the, at the, the last one so this is pretty much what I wanted to show you I hope it's helpful and thank you for your time today and I hope you have fun creating your courses using iTunes U bye bye and have a great day